Hi. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Afru Zakhtar, as you know. I'm from Bangladesh. I am a member of Union United and elected board member of US Anti. I have been involved in the community work as much as I'm available for five years. I want to thank all of you who came out on the cold, shivering day to give me your valuable vote and also equally thankful to those of you who came out and vote for my co-candidate last year. That means we all care for the same issue in our community. My husband and I came to Somerville in 2004. I have a 13 years old daughter who was born and raised in Somerville. She used to study in Argentina for six years. I worked at New Kitchen now. We were displaced twice because of the continuously raising rent. It was so hard to find an apartment whenever I moved. And I had to move my daughter's school, schooling, which she was sad about uh, because she had to leave her friends. I'm not saying that I didn't find any empty apartments for us, but uh, they weren't affordable for us. So it didn't help us, does it? Three months later, after I moved into my apartment, I lost my job because they had to close the business due to the same reason. Green Line extension and redevelopment have not yet started. We are being displaced and locally, small businesses are being pushed out. And when the redevelopment starts, it will come with many more problems. So I am inviting you all to build our community together and resolve the problems. I'm asking for your support for my next term of Union Square Neighbor Council as you were before. Thank you so much for listening to me. Hi, my name is Tori Antonino. I'm a current Union Square Neighbor Council board member. I'm also the co-chair of the Built Environment Committee. Uh, I want to commend our council for doing a lot of work this year, um, especially the CBA negotiating team and those who organized the summit. They have, um, I have faith in their work and they are, we're having ongoing negotiations and they're a group of competent people and I trust them and I thank them for their work. But we have a lot of other things we need to pay attention to. And, and this year, I want to be able to do those things, and especially zoning. You know, zoning is a document that is going to put all of our city policies and documents and summer vision and things that we're striving for into language that can be enforced. It is the most powerful document we have to influence development and influence the way our city is going to look for the next 50 to 100 years. And so I want you guys to join me in that. The Built Environment Committee is going to uh, participate head on in the zoning. And um, if you have yet to participate, the good news is you're right on time. Um, you can do so by coming to the Built Environment Committee meetings. And you can also do so by um, coming to the Land Use Committee meetings on Tuesday nights. Um, at 6 o'clock at City Hall on weeks where they're not having the full board member meetings. Um, and the importance of zoning is that not only does it describe the heights of buildings and the widths of sidewalks and setbacks, but it's also going to um, outline our sustainability standards, our requirements for open space, and other community benefits. In, in fact, the Article 12 in the zoning is development benefits, an entire article that we can contribute to and make more meaningful um, the contributions from developers. My final ask is that please join us. This is nothing that can be done by 16 or 15 board members. We need the community to come and participate, and we must do this together. So please, um, I'll do my best to make sure everyone knows where and when things are going to happen. Thanks. All right, I won't go a second over two minutes. Hi, folks. Uh, my name is Ben Baldwin. I live at 39 Quincy Street. 
Uh, originally from north of Boston, born and raised. Uh, I've lived in Somerville for the last four and a half years over on Quincy Street. Um, I spent that time getting a master's degree from, of, in urban planning from Tufts University, and I've spent the last uh, two and a half years working in community development in Roxbury and Dorchester, including the uh, Dudley Street Neighborhood Initiative, Community Land Trust, and now uh, in Dudley Square at the Madison Park Development Corporation. So I've spent a lot, a lot of time there building affordable housing, doing you know, community and economic development. And uh, I'm also on the Somerville Community Land Trust Working Group here in Somerville. So that uh, includes representatives from all different organizations and individuals in Somerville uh, working to organize the communities of Somerville to support community control of land like they have in Roxbury and like hopefully we can have soon here in Union Square and across Somerville. Uh, my last year, here at uh, the Union Square Neighborhood Council. I, I was elected last year and uh, I'm now the secretary of the board and chair of the Outreach and Communications Committee, which means I take all the minutes and update the social media and send out the newsletter. People love the minutes, I know, so. Uh, um, including also uh, organizing um, a social event we had last year uh, at the Greek American Social Club, which was our biggest fundraising event, I think. Don't quote me on that. Um, so, one big goal that I have for the next year is as the pace of meetings goes down, as you know, now that we're established, I think there are, are going to be more opportunities for uh, less official engagements, a lot more, a lot less deliberation, and a lot more uh, informal interaction of the community in Union Square, and a chance to get together. So I want to plan more of those social events, maybe a little bit more fundraising, and uh, try to just work on our inclusivity and getting more people involved. So that is my goal for the next year. Thank you. Two minutes. Thank you, hi. Uh, my name is Ben Bradlow. I've lived here since 2011. I currently live with my wife and young daughter. Uh, I'm a renter. My professional training and experience is in urban planning. And as we know, Development in Union Square will not only transform our neighborhood, but it will transform our city. Our local government, and especially our mayor, was responsible for representing our interests in its negotiations for, uh, in its negotiations with the neighborhood's quote, master developer, which is called US2. There's now significant agreement that our city fell short of the mark in its negotiations. Last year's inaugural board of the Union Square Neighborhood Council achieved the possibility of a new path. For the first time, our neighborhood could democratically elect leaders who would be recognized as direct negotiating partners with US2. In the past year, we achieved this formal recognition. I've been part of the team negotiating with US2 since August for a community benefits agreement. We are fighting to first resist displacement of our neighbors. Second, to affirm the dignity of workers in our neighborhood. And third, to secure the environmental and social health of our neighborhood. I'm once again asking for your vote in order to continue this fight. Together, we can continue to grow our community's partnership of workers, tenants, businesses, and homeowners. If we do this, I believe that we will win. Thank you. Hello, everyone. So, my name is Ann Kamara. I have the honor of serving on the first Union Square Neighborhood Council Board and the pleasure of working with 14 other board members and community members who care and work hard for Union Square. I'm from around here. 42 years on Hanson Street, Duck Village. Raised two great sons, parishioner at St. Joe's, volunteer, and a home daycare provider. I'm an American of Portuguese and Italian descent. I'm running again because things are just getting started and there's plenty to finish. Some areas are nice parks, community center, sustainability, jobs, and affordability for those who were raised here, those who want to stay here, and no more displacement. Bring our people home. My strengths are to show up, initiate, and follow through. 
I attend city meetings, neighborhood council and community meetings, and workshops. If I hear about it, I go. If I'm asked, I go. And if there's work to be done, I work. Hi, everybody. Um, I am one of the co-chairs of the Union Square Neighborhood Council. I'm running for re-election. Um, for 14 years, I've lived one and a half blocks from the proposed T station on Oak Street. I have a degree in architecture and graduate studies in urban planning. I am one of the seven negotiators for the Community Benefits Agreement, CBA, uh, that we're negotiating with a master developer for Union Square, US2. The negotiating team is mandated by the results of two CBA summits to advocate for more affordable housing built earlier in, in the um, timeline of the development. Good paying jobs with benefits and a chance for advancement. Workforce development with job training and placement. Assistance for small business facing displacement. More parks and open space. An indoor civic center. Sustainability in design and operation. Arts and creative economy. And good urban design that includes connectivity to the neighborhoods and people around the new development. We, in the negotiating team, have been at this for four months. Last year, when I appeared in the same space, I said that I would put in the time and the effort, that I would try to build community, and I would speak truth to power. I kept these promises, and I intend to continue in the same mode if you would be good enough to vote for me again. My exact words back then were that I didn't have any other choice but to speak truth to power, because my granddaughters were counting on me, They're counting on me to help influence the future of Union Square in the right direction. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Shane. I'm the co-founder of In Season Food Shop, which just opened at Bow Market, where we'll all be meeting to vote soon. Thank you. Uh, it's been a huge pleasure to open a business in Union Square over this past year. Uh, not only is it a perfect neighborhood for the shop that we're trying to put together, it's hard to imagine our project working anywhere else after the level of support we've seen. We felt welcomed from this community after the first day at the Union Square Farmers Market. And it's mostly because of that experience, as well as my time managing the Copley Farmers Market in Boston, that I've chosen to take this more active role. Though I live a couple blocks past the technical border on Highland Avenue, Union Square is my home just as much as my place of business. My goals with In Season and as candidate for the Neighborhood Council are one and the same. I want to ensure that everyone who lives, works, or even spends time in Union Square feels as welcome and as included as I did. Whether you've recently moved here or your family's made their home here for generations, your voices deserve to be heard. Uh, we're building In Season into a shop that welcomes people from all backgrounds while doing our part to support the broader food community in the region. The business is based on the slow food values of good, clean, and fair food for all, values I uphold and advocate for as chair of Slow Food Boston. I want to expand on these values to ensure that Union Square remains inclusive, diverse, and affordable while contributing to a robust, broader community in Somerville and beyond. With all this development on the horizon, the challenges of minimizing displacement and maintaining the character here have only just begun. If elected, I will use my voice as both business person and council member to ensure that our economic growth and prosperity are shared by every member of the Union Square community. When businesses open or relocate here, I want to be one of the first to let them know about organizations like the Somerville Community Corporation, which helped us, um, and other groups like them to ensure equitable access to good jobs, affordable housing, 
and leadership opportunities for people from all kinds of different backgrounds. Union Square is one of the most diverse and vibrant neighborhoods I've ever been lucky enough to live in. We can and must ensure that this community continues to grow and thrive together. Wonderful Somerville shirt. <laughs> Happy to advertise. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Andy Greenspan. I moved to Union Square five and a half years ago by chance and by luck after the first summer vision plan was completed just a year before. And I found myself joining a new, a new neighborhood group in whirlwind discussions about all the rapid changes happening in Union Square. I was part of the working group that led to the formation of the Union Square Neighborhood Council. And since the official formation of the council last December, I have co-chaired the Built Environment Committee and taken many of their meeting minutes, where we look at everything built around us that will shape the experience of this community for decades and probably centuries to come. I hope to continue all that work this year in representing the community's goals for responsible, well-designed, and environmentally sustainable development, while promoting affordable housing, anti-displacement measures, fair and good jobs, green and open space, a community center, and any and all concerns of those in the square. A few specific things I will focus on this year include increased transparency and outreach to community members. That includes getting more than, I hope, a thousand people to vote on this community benefits agreement that we will hopefully have with the developer. Uh, the built environment, the first zoning overhaul in 30 years in Somerville is under discussion and we need to ensure it sets high standards for design, affordability for residents and small businesses, usable green and open space, our urban forests, and public transit oriented development. Future plans for the D-blocks and other developments in Union Square. There are many developments outside US2 already underway, including large developments in Boynton Yards where green and open space will be needed, and helping to promote and sustain our small businesses and creative economies in the square. In my professional life, I'm a scientist. I pay close attention to detail and have strong organizational skills. I want to help community members quickly learn about the changes the city tries to thrust upon us, expecting little, no, little to no community pushback. Massive community participation strengthens our voice, which should be the loudest, given the developments primarily affect all of us above all else. I humbly ask for your vote to continue my work representing the Union, Square, uh, Union Square's hopes, desires, and aspirations as this community project moves forward. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Michelle Hansen, and I've lived in Union Square for 37 years. Uh, I'm a fifth generation Somerville resident. My daughters, nieces, and nephews make up the sixth. It has been an honor to be a member of the first elected neighborhood council board in the city's 175 year history. For the past year, I've diligently and consistently have advocated for the needs of the community, whether it be on the Union Square Neighborhood Council Community Benefits Agreement negotiating team, speaking before the Board of Aldermen, and on various subcommittees. Through this process, I've come to rely on the ideals that I've learned here in Somerville from my family, specifically my grandfather, Michael Kremen. He had a lot of sayings. The one that I remember very clearly is that a person should be able to bloom where they are planted. In other words, the physical and social environment in which you find yourself should allow you to reach your full potential. For me, what does this have to do with the neighborhood council work? It means we must focus on holding the city and any or, or future developers to account and require them to give more than lip service to our community values. Whether you come to be here generationally or you have chosen to plant yourself here, you have the right to demand that the city of Somerville work for you to do among other things, to the many things they need to do, to mitigate displacement, to increase the percentage of affordable housing required of developers, and the new zoning seems to be a good place to do that, as, and as a city to invest in a substantive way in affordable housing itself, improve and expand green and open space to at least the levels that are already called for in Summer Vision 2030. Again, something that can be done in the zoning, I believe, and to promote the highest standards of environmental sustainability in Union Square and across Somerville, at the very least attaining the goals of their own Somerville Climate Forward document. We need to, they need to insist on protecting and promoting dignity of work, whether it be on construction sites, in restaurants, as maintenance workers, in luxury towers, or lab workers. I believe that Union Square Neighborhood Council, board and membership are well positioned to work 
to do the hard work necessary to hold these entities accountable. Finally, I'd just like to say, selfishly, I hope that my daughters and nieces and nephews remain in Somerville so that there may be a seventh generation here. But if they don't, I hope that wherever they end up, they will be able to say with pride, I am from Somerville, a place where we choose people over profits and value our neighbors, new and old. Thank you for your time. And I hope that you will I'm Jacob Kramer. I live on Quincy Street. I'm a renter, um, and for work I'm a writer, and I also am an organizer. I'm active in multiple local organizations in addition to the U a Union Square Neighborhood Council, including Our Revolution Somerville, Boston Democratic Socialists of America, and locally Union United. Um, I was I served on the working group, helping the, which helped form the board, and I served on the founding board. And I'm also part of the negotiating committee, which was mentioned by some of my colleagues earlier. I'm really proud of how we've established this organization as a new democratic institution and the voice of our neighborhood. Um, with my colleagues on the council, I took the lead on organizing the two CBA summits, um, which have directly informed the terms that we are bringing to US2 in our negotiations. Um, I also testified before our city council on behalf of the Union Square Neighborhood Council to advocate the delay of the final transfer of a parcel of, a, of land um, that US2 wants to acquire, and with the goal of giving our negotiating committee the space that we need um, to get the agreement, uh, a just agreement for our neighborhood that our broader membership can accept. In the coming year, I want to finish what we started, particularly with the CBA, but then also explore what else this council can do. I'm particularly interested in um, tenant organizing um, against evictions, and in keeping Union Square a place where people of modest means can thrive. Thank you. We have Paola. Hi. Hi. My name is Paola Massoli, and uh, um, it's so nice to see actually so many people that I know, so many friends, and have the opportunity of meeting new people tonight. I am a candidate for the first time for the council, and I'm very excited to be. Uh, to have the opportunity of being part of it because I think you're all doing a really unbelievable job. Um, I live in East Somerville. I've been in Somerville since 2009 and I currently work in Union Square and uh, I just love uh, this area. So I, that's the reason why I want to uh, run for this council because I really believe in uh, Somerville and in Union Square in particular that can be a better version of itself through the work that this council is really doing in advocacy, community organizing, for all the right things. Uh, professionally, I'm an environmental scientist, so for me, environment and climate are a 24 hours kind of business, and they've been so for the last 13 years of my life, and I do really care about uh, sustainability and uh, all the wonderful things that these candidates have been talking about. Um, I do think that this council is really addressing all the issues that matters, environment, uh, building efficiency, uh, um, affordability, and I really um, want to embrace it as uh, if I have the opportunity of being elected. Um, and in particular for me, actually pushing for a, um, energy standard for new buildings that are going to be built all over uh, Union Square, but also in East Somerville, where I live. Uh, this is going to be an ongoing issue for the next uh, 100 years. And so I really want to push the envelope for reaching new standards and be and be make maybe Somerville, you know, the new model that probably the whole area can look at. Um, I think we can really become something that people can look at with pride. And I really want to help out at reaching these goals. Certain of our city officials love to promote Somerville as a great place to live, work, play, and raise a family. They probably ought to add, if you can afford it, because more and more of us can't. I can't, I've lost track of all the people who I care about who've been forced out, priced out, and they tended to be the people who gave of themselves, who looked in on elderly neighbors, who volunteered for local organizations, who coached Little League, who wove the fabric of community. And small businesses who were otherwise viable but for the fact that rising rents 
pushed them past the threshold of viability. Businesses that had deep ties in the community have been forced out. This is all to say that we have vast deficits of living wage jobs and affordable housing. I spent 40 years developing or advocating for both, 30 of them in this neighborhood. I like to imagine that I have some I like to imagine that I have some insights to bring to the council. Uh, if you want to know my views on any of these things, you can Google my name, the topic, and Somerville Times, and you'll find one or more columns about it. In my profile, those words that are underlined are hyperlinks. I'm particularly preoccupied and concerned about the unraveling fabric of our community. Community is what makes dense urban neighborhoods nurturing and enriching rather than anomic and stressful. It is where we became human and I think it's where we need to remain to be human. I would like to explore how the Neighborhood Council can promote and preserve community. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Um, thanks, Election Committee, for all the work that you've done to put this together and everyone else. Um, my name is Penny Taylor, and I'm running for re-election. Um, I want to start it out with something. So one group that I'm a part of is the policy group on tradeswomen's issues, and we work to crush barriers for women in construction. And we start every meeting repeating a mantra, which I really like, and it's something that I try to bring to my work here in the Neighborhood Council, so you get a little jazz hands. And we say, we are all in this together. There is no silver bullet, and we will never, ever give up. Um, so, we have organized so much in 2018. CBA summits, compiling years of asks, the time at the Greek American Social Club with prizes donated from local businesses, um, rallies for union jobs in Union Square, advocating for a full environmental review to protect the health of neighbors and visitors, and canvassing for a land transfer meeting with a brass band. Talking to neighbors and doing nitty-gritty organizing work is fun. Our goals are serious. Development that doesn't displace our friends and family anymore, uh, nor displace local workers at good jobs and small businesses. Safe construction by union workers getting strong wages without exploitation on the job. Climate change resiliency, a good design, and connectivity um, all throughout looking for economic justice for our neighborhood while these investors still get richer. So in Union Square, slaughterhouses once dumped pollutants into the Miller's River until it was filled in to end the stench, it's a true story, and it was built on. At this juncture in the neighborhood's development, um, we must be thoughtful, creative, and thorough. We can't let a bad plan stink up Union Square again. I'm dedicated to development that centers people, not profits, and I ask for your vote for another year on the board. Thank you so much. Thank <laughs> you.